Hello everyone, uh, here is a quick video just showing you how my Miner Designer is going to allow you to put in-game tunes into Manic Miner. So if we have a look at the normal game here, so that's the regular tune as I'm sure you all recognize and uh, just disabled it there. I actually got the menu music disabled if you're wondering, it's pretty noisy so decided to just disable it for now. Um, okay, so basically what I wanted to do was have a, a, a sort of simple way that anyone could sort of write their tune using a sequencer program and then put it into uh, Manic Miner so that you didn't have a lot of fiddly numbers to deal with. So there's no numbers really at all. So let's um, go over to Vpolar and uh, we'll have a look at that. Just pause this and switch over. Okay, so here is Bipolar by Chris Cowley. It's a really nice little program that's quite popular for writing Spectrum Beeper one-bit tunes. It has uh, a range of different options in terms of uh, engines here, as you can see. But the one I'm using here is just ROM Beep. It's very, very simple. And we're just gonna use one channel. And we've got a length of 64 here. Tempo is set at 15, which is roughly the tempo that the Manic Miner game plays at. So that will give us a pretty good idea. We can write our tune in here. We can use the keyboard here, or we can use the computer keyboard as well. And it uh, makes it a lot easier just to kind of play and come up with a tune. So here is the tune, as you can hear. And that's pretty much it. That's obviously uh, Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin that was used in the game Perils of Willy, that's why I featured it here. So yeah, now how do we transfer this over to um, Manic Miner? Well, it's a pretty straightforward thing. We're just going to go to here, we choose Compile a Song. We don't need to worry about these values. We set this value to Song Data Only Binary and it's ROM Beep. We leave this exactly as it is. We press OK. And in this case we'll Save it as Stairway 2. I've already done it once, obviously, as a test. 134 bytes will tell you that it's correct. So now all we have to do is switch back to the emulator and go to the minor designer. Okay, so we're back here. Now, the way the editor works, you just press E and uh, it switches from uh, to the editor mode here, which is loaded in from 1 to 8K memory. Most of these aren't working yet, but the music one now is. And basically, all you do is you just press M, and it tells you it's now ready to import at this memory address. So I go to the binary, which I have created here. And uh, we just open that up. And of course, we put it in here. That's the uh, des decimal equivalent of that. Okay, so once that's done, when I press a key, it's now going to convert the bipolar data that we've just loaded into Manic Miner notes, just like that, and it's done. And if we go now to play the game, as you can see, it's as simple as that. And um, you probably noticed I have a couple of other tunes which we can import just as a test. Like that, so 4580. There you go, press a key, go to test. Oops, sorry, go to test, press enter and turn the music back on. There you go. So yeah, easy, straightforward, isn't it? Okay, well, anyway, I'll keep you updated. The, obviously the editor isn't out yet, just a little update for you guys uh, to let you know how it's been progressing, okay? Thanks a lot, see you soon, happy coding, bye-bye.